If I was able to repeat my college years, uh, I really don't think I would have done anything differently. I chose, I think, the right program, communications, uh, with the emphasis on the film classes, and that has smoothly carried me to where I am today, working uh, both on client projects and on my own creative projects. My name is John Lipartido. I'm 38 years old. I'm from the United States, and I studied communications at Temple University. Temple is actually my second uh, second college degree. Um, first, I uh, studied in America at Canisius College in Buffalo, New York, and got a literature degree. And with that came to uh, Japan and started teaching English. I decided that I wanted to study filmmaking, but I didn't want to leave Japan, so I looked for the, was looking for an option where I could study about filmmaking in English without having to go back to the United States. The experience of meeting other uh, people interested in filmmaking, trying to find a filmmaking career, and collaborating and making little low-budget student films. Um, those are the highlights. I think I've met more people from all over the world at Temple University than I have uh, anywhere else in my life. And I saw a lot of my long-held views get challenged in a very positive way, though. It wasn't like a big shock and like, uh, like oh my god, I doubt everything or anything like that. Just, just very naturally over, over a couple of years, just, just found myself um, becoming more, what I would say, what me today would, would, would perceive as being more open-minded. I was able to start my career immediately after graduating. Um, I was introduced to uh, a man who ran a small video company um, by one of my professors. I started as an intern while I was still uh, still at Temple and uh, just very smoothly right after graduation he was like hey if you want the job you got it and I was so thrilled about that I think I was really lucky and in in, to just very smoothly um, graduate and go into the workforce so I started working in a small video company that had connections with Fox International channels uh, based in Shibuya uh, Tokyo and yeah after about a year working in a small company moved to Fox and I worked there for about two years before deciding that um, rather than broadcast uh, ENG type of work, I would prefer to do more creative work again, like I was focusing on while at Temple. Uh, so I left Fox and went to a small company again. Changed companies once even since then, but um, I have been focused on doing uh, freelance, uh, corporate video work, and also working on um, uh, a lot of my private projects as well and as far as my short film projects have picked up several awards in film festivals. I was always thinking you know that whole English teaching thing wasn't you know wasn't for me but maybe teaching something that I really am interested in would be great. Um, so yeah so I approached um, uh, the communications director at Temple University at TUJ uh, who is one of my professors and told him like, hey, I'm available now, I'd really like to teach classes. And, um, and I mean, after, I forget exactly how much time, but I w waited a little while and then he replied back like, yeah, we have an opening. And that's how I'm back. Something that's great about being a part-time teacher at Temple University while also working um, in the video and film industry actively is um, I'm able to offer students who I think are really particularly noteworthy uh, actual professional work. The director of photography of the film that I was talking about that has won awards. Um, she's actually a former Temple student and when she graduated I also uh, asked her to join the company that I'm also doing client work with. So, um, And there's still uh, other Temple students who are still studying at this moment uh, who are frequently I bring on as assistants on paid work. I definitely believe that Temple students, um, Temple audiovisual students, are a unique asset to the uh, to the industry here. Um, in fact, I mean, I know firsthand from working professionally with clients that there are a lot of Japanese companies who are looking for um, ways to reach foreign audiences, for example, and they're not always happy with what the local production companies uh, propose to them. And there's probably, I mean, I, I'm not the business person here, I'm the creative person, but I think a lot of that is happening because of the Olympics coming up in just a couple of years. People are very focused on the foreign market. Um, tourism industries are looking at how to, how to reach foreigners better. Also just the explosion of video uh, being shared on social media makes the demand for very short um, 
attention-grabbing videos uh, for the for, for Japan's pr pr perspective for potential travelers to Japan. Um, that demand is, is, is at, I think, an all-time high right now. Maybe something I can tell the future students. Make a good impression on your, comp on your professor. Be on time. Um, doesn't matter if it's just like a class that seems really fun and you think you've got it all mastered because you, you already do films outside of class. Be on time, get stuff done, do, give, give every project you do 110% because you never know what teacher um, might be able to introduce you to somebody who's going to be your first boss or who might actually be your first boss in the, uh, in the actual industry.